Phil Wednesday. Just completed my expensive errand. Not a great place for kids to play, but. Whatever. from the citizenship and then we hand them the simplified term that helps create clarity. It strikes me that there will be people listening to this who will accuse us of horrible, horrible cynicism. Trying to wrap a brand around this cataclysm in our economy. Yeah. And I, th I do think that brand is often attributed with negativity. It's almost an attempt to influence the mind of a market by sort of connecting with what it is that they desire. Yeah. But please, Obama, a brand, the United States of America, a brand, Ford Motor Company, a brand, not just an, an economic stalwart. Every religion is actively managing its brand. So it's here. Why don't we orchestrate what we need to call this so that we all can synchronize our communication, focus on the destination at hand, rather than worrying about all the negative energy that's being distributed all the time. I'm almost ready to stand up and salute Let's do this. go marching on. Let's do this, brother. Sasha Strauss is the managing director and chief strategist at Innovation Protocol. That's a brand development firm in case you hadn't been able to tell. Sasha, thanks, thanks a lot. My honor. Thank you for the time, Kai. So to pick up on that idea that first got to find out what people are thinking, we did. Doomed. That's perfect. Panic for no reason. Uh, it's almost like an economic shock. A depressive recession? Um, depression, no doubt about it. A mental recession? Bummer. Slow and uncertain. What we call it doesn't really matter. It's a mess. That was Janet Romo from Houston, Texas, Laurel Dungan, Travis Henderson, and Trevor Fisher in Des Moines, Iowa, Rick Prince, and Joy Hamilton in Nashville, Tennessee, Richard Kahn, Matthew Mandel, and Morgan Allsmith in Plymouth, New Hampshire. Coming up, the not so 
subtle link between market and emotional volatility. I need help. I can't take this again. But first, let's do the numbers. <laughs> the Dow Industrial's proud of 213 points today, nearly 2% close at 11,482. The NASDAQ bounced up 1.8%, 47 points, 2555. The S&P 500 sashayed up more than 2%, 25 points, finished at 1204. Companies connected to the mobile phone business rang up some big gains on that Google Motorola mobility buyout news. Motorola jacked up 55%, 55%. Nokia buzzed up 17%. Research in motion picked off a 10% gain. They make Blackberries in case you hadn't heard. Google stumbled down more than 1%. Other tech company rallied as well. Intel chipped up 1%. AMD rose 3.5% today. Bonds fell. The yield on the 10-year T-note rose to 2.31%. And you're listening to Marketplace. Marketplace is supported by Reputation.com, helping small business owners, professionals, and yeah. executives monitor, protect, and improve their online no reputations. Reputation.com. And by Chevrolet, maker of the new Volt, which plugs in anywhere and goes everywhere. Available in select markets. Details at ChevyVolt.com. Entrepreneurship reporting is supported by Deluxe Corp, a marketing resource to 4 million small businesses with logo and website design, search engine marketing, and more at deluxe.com slash marketing.